Hey everybody, I'm Chris. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you are a returning subscriber. If you are, thank you so much. I appreciate you coming back to our little corner of YouTube. You guys, ColourPop has released monochromatic bundles to pair with their hair tints and their hair color conditioners. We've got six different color stories here of an eyeshadow palette, a volumizing mascara, and the BFF liquid liner so that you can make a perfect monochromatic look to pair with your colored hair. Or not, you don't have to have colored hair to wear a monochromatic look. So if you'd like to see these monochromatic bundles in action, stay exactly where you are because we're getting into it right now. After opening everything, I have now realized that these are eyeshadow palettes, volumizing mascara, and the BFF cream gel liners, not liquid liners. Now, let's see the bundles. Who are you to tell me how to live life in these times? It feels like nobody's right. So I'ma figure out what else we succeed And then invest all of my time into that and proceed I need whatever the hell could make me happy And I don't think you have a clue what could that be Before I actually go in with the makeup, I forgot to tell you the prices of everything. So the bundles of just the makeup, the eyeshadow, the mascara, and the liner are only $22. Three separate products for $22. And if you want the hair color to match the products, it's $36 for the entire bundle. All three makeup items and the hair tint. But if you just want the individual products, you're looking at $10, $9, and $7. That's insane. How are they even making money? Okay, now let's play. The best part about quads like this and creating a monochromatic look is they are so easy. I mean, you've got four shades. You really can't go wrong. So to start, I'm taking Boardwalk and just filling this all over the crease. It is so, so easy. With monochromatic looks like this, you've really got free reign on how you want to do it. I mean, you could literally stop with just the pigment all over your eyes and be done. Like, this could be the look. Throw on some mascara, a nice clear gloss, you're done. But we're gonna use all the shades. We're gonna be extra. The screen is really interesting. It's very turquoise. Now let's take some totally crushing and fill that in the deepest part of the crease. I think I'm gonna keep it just on the outside though. Yeah, we'll leave the inner corner open more. Man, the pigment is real in this darker shade. Holy crap, that built up so fast. Our deepening shade is nice and blended out, so let's take some of the green shimmer. This is Ocean Breezy, I believe. Take some right on the finger. Oh, look at her. She's gonna get right on this eye right now. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's so pretty. And I'm avoiding this shade on the inner corner because I'm gonna take my pinky into Lighthouse and apply that right to the inner corner. Every morning make a good impression on your boss. Don't do anything that I wouldn't do. And when you make your money, make sure you don't spend it too soon. One of a kind. Oh my gosh. Oh man, I really wish I had the teal hair. This would be a perfect look with the teal hair. Obviously, it's supposed to be. While I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and add some lighthouse to the brow bone as well, just to make the inner corner and the brow bone the same, a little more cohesive. Oh, that's so good! Make sure we blend that edge out. We don't want any hard line going around the edge, and it's perfection, again. Now let's just clean up the mess of the lower lash line, get all the extra fallout out of the way. Now let's check out the cream gel liner. I did go ahead and curl my lashes already off camera. Since I was off camera already cleaning up my mess, why not knock out two birds with one stone? That's such a sad metaphor. Analogy? Metaphor. Whichever one it is, it's very sad. Why would you want to kill two birds? Poor birds. So I'm really glad they include cream gel liners in this collection. Granted, I would have liked the liquid liners more just because I haven't tried them yet, and I think they would be really, really good. But that being said, you can still use cream gel liners for graphic liner or like a wing. 
It just takes a little more work and you gotta be a little more careful. But obviously using a cream gel liner on top of a color that it is, isn't really gonna show up all that well. But if I had no eyeshadow on and I was just going in with a cream gel liner, you could literally make like a graphic liner with it. You can make just a wing with it. You could even fill the lid with it and make it just a single all over color all over the lid. These by themselves are pretty magical makeup items. Liner is on. Let's see if the mascara will finish off this look. You know what's great about using a colored mascara that's the exact same color as your eyeshadow? Especially if you have hooded lids. You don't see it when there's transfer because it's the same color. <laughs> Do we call that cheating or using your resources? Even though this mascara is a deeper tone, I thought it wasn't going to cover quite as well as some of the other colors, but it does. I can't see any of my own lash color coming through anymore. And again, it is literally the perfect finish for a monochromatic look. The next palette is Chestnuts About You, and the color story is Chestnut. Again, I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush and go into the lighter tone, which is Roasted in this palette, and fill the crease yet again. Ooh, that's really warm. Don't slack off, wake up every morning, make a good impression on your boss. Don't do anything that I wouldn't do. And when you make your money, make sure you don't spend it too soon. <laughs> Fuck that, I'll do what I want to do. I got a different path from everyone in that includes you. And just like with the teal side, I'm going to take the darker shade from the quad. This one is warm over and deepen up just the crease and the outer edge. Wow, that is literally the exact same color as what my hair was when I used the chestnut tint. If you haven't seen the video I created using the ColourPop hair tints, I'll make sure that I have my TikTok listed in the description so you can check those videos out if you'd like. That way you can kind of see the color that I had on my hair. I actually used a combination of two different hair tints to get a nice fade up the side, and the combination was gorgeous. But I really wish that I wouldn't have colored my hair again until I knew that they were making bundles like this, so I would have loved to have kept the hair color I had. But I wanted to go to something more wintry. I just realized that every single one of these palettes has two mattes and two shimmers. Each one lighter and darker so every single one of these looks is going to be the exact same process so I'm not going to explain it to you every time. The mid-tone shade is the transition shade, the dark shade is the dark shade, the dark shimmers on the outside of the lid, the light shimmers on the inside of the lid. The darker shimmer in this palette is called At Dusk and the lighter shade is Campfire Girl. How does ColourPop do this every single time? Why is it always so good? Oh, ColourPop. Now this time, I'm not sure that the lightest shimmer in the palette's gonna make a good brow bone highlight because it's not white. I guess let's try it anyway though. I mean, worst case, it just looks really dark and doesn't look like a brow bone highlight. Best case, it does, I guess. Oh, I'm so terrified to try. Should I? I mean, if it is too dark, it could ruin everything. Oh, it's way too dark. Oh no! <laughs> okay, well we're just gonna stop that right now, or try to. Let me try to get rid of what I can. Well, scratch that plan. I'm really glad I did sort of like a little test area to see first, because I didn't think that was gonna be that dark, but it's pretty dark. Definitely not a brow bone highlight. We're just gonna blend her away like she doesn't exist. Goodbye! Oh, goodbye! When will I see you again? Oh, never! Cream gel liner this time is in the shade Mare. Oh my gosh. Did you see how fast that went on and how pigmented it was? Jeez. Either way, she's popping. I mean, that is bright. And the mascara is the shade Wood Spirit. And when you make your money, make sure you don't spend it too soon. <laughs> Fuck that, I'll do what I want to do. I got a different path from everyone and that includes you. Who are you to tell me how to live life in these times? It feels like nobody's right, yeah. So I'ma figure out what else we succeed and then invest all of my time into that and proceed. Yet another mascara that covered completely. You know, it's been a really long time since I've tried the tinted BFF volumizing mascaras. I mean, like, a long time. Here's the initial review video if you guys want to watch it. I mean, 
This has been probably a couple of years ago now, and I remember the mascaras being pigmented then and having a lot of coverage, but this? I don't know that I remember them being this pigmented and having this much coverage. This is one layer on my natural lashes. It's just blowing my mind. It's really funny having two different colored looks too because it changes the way my eyes look. They're very different. Now I'm not gonna finish off all of my face makeup just to do these looks over and over again to take it all off again until the finished look. But I did throw on just a little bit of concealer so that I could finish off the lower lash line and the lower lash line mascara so we could really see the whole monochromatic look come together. That being said, here's the teal look. And here is the chestnut look. The next palette is Berry Jam. I completely forgot to tell you guys the shade name. This is the shade Tart Me Up, and I'm about to go in with Stud Muffin. The darker shimmer in the pink palette is just a glaze, and the lighter shade is jam packed. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it. They want me to do something that can make sense. They hate when I keep dreaming, I'll be famous. But I don't give a fuck, I'm gonna keep chasing. I don't even like pink that much, but this is giving. I mean, it's literally everything I would need in a pink palette. Mmm, yes, mama, get it. This liner is called Fruit Fantasy. They didn't even know they put my name in it. Yet another wonderfully vivid eyeliner. How do they get these so intense? And the pink mascara is in the shade Honey Bun. The next palette, the purple palette, is Violet It B, I think. I'm pretty sure that's an I T B. If it's not an I T, it's an H. And that would be Violet H B, which I don't know if that makes sense either. But the point is, it's a violet palette. Lighter shade is called Love Letter. The darker shade is the tea. The darker shimmer in this one is Super Flower. Oh shit. The darker shimmer in this one is Super Flower. Oh my god, I did it again! The darker shimmer in this one is Super Flower, and the lighter one is Eyes For You. Well, that's an exact match. Wow. And now for the lighter shade. <sighs> BFF Cream Gel Liner in the shade Spring Break. Clean up the under eye. Now for the BFF Mascara in the shade Floating Fern. Purple and pink are now done, so what do you guys think of these two looks? Moving on to the peach palette, this one is Peaches and Dreams. The lighter shade is the shade Full Bloom. Wake up every morning, make a good impression on your body. 
boss Don't do anything that I wouldn't do And when you're making money, make sure you don't spend it too soon <laughs> Fuck that, I'll do what I wanna do I got a different path from everyone and that includes you and the darker color is called Summer Fling. Ooh, I really like that one. That's like a corally watermelon. Darker shimmer is the shade Georgia. The lighter shimmer is the shade Sleeping In. Wow, that lighter shade is beautiful. That would make a perfect highlighter for the face. The BFF Cream Gel Liner is in the shade Shady Lane. It's not too warm, it's not too cool, it's just the perfect middle peach. Let's clean up this lower lash line and transform the peach. I thought I was done, I was gonna move on, but I've gotta use some more of the highlight shade on the brow bone. I just can't help it. If it's a light enough shade to not leave a dark cast, I've gotta use it. And now the peach volumizing mascara is in the shade Sugar Pie. You know, at first I was actually kind of thrown off by this color mascara with this color of eyeshadow palette. Yes, it's still peach, but it's much lighter than the palette is. The palette gets more like a deeper mahogany kind of peachy color, but I'm actually really glad that they kept the liner and the mascara a little bit lighter because I feel like it pairs much better with the darker red peach than it would if it was the darker color. So I'm glad they did that. Now for the darker shade, which is black, it's instant classic. What an appropriate name for a black. And now for the absolute best part of this entire look, the silver shimmer. The silver is called Dime Piece and the white is Replay. <laughs> oh, that's really, really pretty. This time I could actually use the silver or the white for brow bone highlight, but I gotta go with the lighter shade. I gotta stick with the continuity I've had so far. I mean, every single one of these palettes, you can use the exact same spot in the palette and make the same kind of look for every one of them. It's just a no-brainer. The silver BFF cream gel liner is the shade Kicker. Oh, that one is metallic, I believe. Yes, it is. That's gonna be perfect for New Year's and Christmas. And the BFF volumizing mascara for the silver bundle is called Black on Black. It's probably black. I mean, you can't really go wrong with black on gray and black, but I will say I would have loved a metallic silver mascara. That would essentially give you like frosted lashes. I would love that. Here we have it, the last two monochromatic looks. Peach and silver. Now I'm gonna pop off camera really quick, go ahead and finish off my favorite color story and be right back with my final thoughts. You guys, this is by far my favorite monochromatic bundle out of all six of them. I know it's probably the most boring, at least it's the least colorful, but I love it. 
I've just always loved a good gray toned smoky eye and this is giving me life. So obviously we know my favorite, but I want to know which one your favorite was. Which ColourPop monochromatic bundle could you see yourself in? I really think the one that surprised me the most is probably the peach one. Normally, I don't really go for peachy tones just because they're really close to nude tones and I'd rather play with color, but that was a really good peach palette. The peach tones actually had some depth and they were really, really vibrant. So it was a whole different side of peach that I've played on. All in all though, every single one of these super affordable bundles is amazing. Not only can you get a perfect little bundle to match the hair tint that you choose, but also you could really mix and match any of these that you want. Like these two together would be absolute fire. These two would be really pretty together. These two would be really pretty together. I mean, the possibilities are endless. I'd like to thank ColourPop for sending over these bundles so that we could test them out, try them on, and see what kind of monochromatic looks they made. But most importantly, I'd like to thank you guys. If you enjoyed this video and you enjoy videos like this, like reviews, first impressions, unboxings, collaborations, challenges, pretty much anything to do with the makeup spectrum, don't forget to subscribe right down there and hit the little notification bell right beside subscribe so that you'll be alerted every time I upload a new video. Also, if you like this look and you want to see more looks like them, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. My username is the same for everything. It's just Christopher JMUA. That being said, I had so much fun playing in makeup with you guys today, and I will see you in the next one. All the negativity, man, I'm immune. I don't really need a mask with all I've been through. I've been making changes for the ages. Five, ten year plans are contagious. I attack that shit, I'm tenacious. And if you ain't, get the fuck out of my way, then. Got one life, I won't regret it. I will fight